Hello everybody, we are back again playing some Risk Urin. Uh, who are we going to play as today? Who are we going to play as today? Should it be, should it be uh, Commander? But yes, this is Roguelike Roulette. Hope you guys have been enjoying it. We're going to be playing Monsoon Difficulty again. Still randomizing. I still need to unlock all the artifacts and I'm still planning on doing it at some point. But for now, I've just been enjoying this. I genuinely don't think we can go with all enemies are elites. It's been kicking our ass so bad right now. Monster will be as one type and double the monsters. We've played that one before, I think. Uh, Artifact of Swarm. Just Sacrifice. I kind of want to go for at least two. L listen to this tapping. Wait a minute. Actually, rapid fire. Uh, we get... Choose your items and monsters are doubled. Let's go with that and we'll, we'll just play Commando for now. Honestly, I enjoy Commando a whole hell of a lot. Uh, so we'll try him out and see how we go for this one. Monsoon, even with Command, can be really difficult. Oh, I love that slide. Uh, yeah, it can be really difficult. So we're still going to be opening chests, but we are going to be facing double spawns, half HP. I, it's one of, one of my favorite favorites, actually. I just love the, the hecticness of double spawns. It can really lead to some problematic instances, but it's always really fun. Enemies aren't dropping on death either, so we do still need money in order to find an open chest, like this one here. Get you. Quite a few guys over here. Open that up while we're near it. And see if we can take out the elite. Elite gives a little bit extra cash. But yeah, I've been enjoying doing these challenges recently. They've been really fun. Um... Playing Risk of Rain on Roguelike Roulette. It's not a game I was thought of. It, I, I didn't really have it in my sight lines for Roguelike Roulette. But when the Artifacts update came out, it just made a lot of sense. Because I think the Artifacts make the game so much more arcadey and, like, random. And more, even more Roguelike than they already are. Because I think, although, obviously, it is a Roguelike, runs can tend to feel the same, even with different items in this game. But I think the Artifacts really changed it up quite a lot. Going to go for attack speed right off the bat here. I think attack speed is always a fun one to go for early on. Uh, and we are going to go for guillotine here, I think. Guillotine this early, of course, is really nice for just dealing with elites. And we'll probably go for some healing after this as well. Few of these guys. Got a few stone boys coming in. Apparently, these guys are really easy to deal with if you stand very close to them, is a tip that I got. I think that was from Little Kirby, actually, that's been in the uh, in the chat, in the comment section for a little while, um, and following on my streams and stuff like that. So, thank you very much for that tip, if that was you. If it was someone else, I do apologize, but I believe it was Little Kirby. Um, let's keep looking around for some chests here. We haven't checked down here yet, so let's go and check over here. Yeah, the slide's so good for sliding around the floor. It unfortunately doesn't work as well in midair. If you do it in midair, it just does this, which is a much shorter boost, but I can get behind it nonetheless. Right, what we get in here? More attack speed, I think. I think attack speed will go until we get like five, and then we'll change it up after that. I just think having having the extra proc ready on your main attack is really, really good. So we can combine that with something like Sticky Bomb, maybe, and get some interesting stuff going on there. Maybe we'll go for a Sticky Bomb build today, shall we? I haven't really gone for a Sticky Bomb build on any of the commands command runs we've done thus far, so that could be a really interesting thing to go for and build to. Enemy spawn seems to slow down a little bit here. So of course it'll take us a little while before we get to the point where we can start building onto that sticky bomb run. We have to first get up the uh, the fire rate and of course we'll get some green items along the way which won't work as well for that. I'll probably take another guillotine or two just to make elites less problematic because I think elites are a big way people die in monsoon. So if we can deal with those, that'd be really good. Of course, any chain reaction thing like gasoline could really help out as well. That that might be something that we want to look at in the future too. Another chest here. Please just give us a Y item. Nice. Of course, normally you're like, give me a green, give me a green, give me a legendary, but Y items right now. Although, if I, took, if I got legendary, I'd definitely take that. Still don't have um, the 76 leaf clover, whatever it's called, unlocked. I'd really like to have that soon. You can see our fire rate's now getting up to pretty damn spicy levels. Uh, we'll check around the back here really quick, but then we'll just go back and up. Yeah, I don't see anything very close there. Got a Lunar Coin from you, surprisingly. We'll take that. Yeah, we'll head up this way, because there might be something up the top this way. There often is a chest or two up here. 
um, check this, and then we can just drop down onto our boss and sort him out. But we're on to four uh, increased attack speeds already. Like I said, five is where I'm probably going to stop at. Uh, any chests here? I don't actually see any right now. Surprising. Nice kill on that guy. Ooh, we are doing good damage right now. Good damage. I do see a chest over there, actually. Let's go get that one. I'm going to say, hopefully we don't take too much damage from that. Damn, if you're just a tiny bit off the ground, you get so much less distance with that. And we do have a, a Chan Shrine there as well, which I didn't see originally. So that's good. Very happy to see that. Let's push up this way. Get that chest, and then we'll go to that Chan Shrine and just spend the rest of our money at that there. Although the level up XP from uh, keeping money is nice, it's never a priority. I don't know anyone that prioritizes the XP, to be honest. And there is our last soldier syringe. We have another chest over here, actually, which is nice. I didn't even know this area was accessible this time around. Obviously, it does, the map does change slightly between players. So now we'll go for Sticky Bomb, and we'll get a few of those going. We should be hearing a decent amount of Sticky Bomb procs here. Maybe not initially, but as soon as we get a few Sticky Bombs going, we should start to hear a few pop up here and there. Nice. There's a few. I hear him. I hear him. And we should have enough to play on the uh, the Chan Shrine at least a little bit here. Oh. I think we can slide up this wall here. I don't actually know if that's going to be the case. I'll try it though. No, you can't. So the slide doesn't quite work the same way in the fact that you can like jump up walls. Oh, there's an item here too. Didn't even see that. Sticky bomb. Sticky bomb. Sticky bomb. Okay, so we should have a good amount of chance to stick the sticky bombs onto them, as well as a pretty good amount of damage from the sticky bombs. Now, they did get nerfed. Sticky bombs used to be a lot more powerful, but they're still really, really good. And I'm, I'm trying to do, now that we've got these, like, uh, choose your own item builds going on and we're doing videos like this, I'm trying to sort of work in some weird and wacky builds that aren't particularly the most efficient build for the character we're playing, but they're just fun and we just see how far we can get with them. So I really want to stack up as many of these sticky bombs as we possibly can. Sticky bombs and fire rate all the way. All the way. Let's start up our boss. We're going to be heading into medium as soon as we get to the next floor pretty much, maybe even a little earlier than that. But, as you can see here, we're already sticking a bunch of sticky bombs. An absolute bunch of sticky bombs here, so we're dealing great damage. Oh yeah, this is this is working out already. I'm already loving this damage. Nice. Right, second some of these guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this. I am liking this. It deals with them quite nicely. A lot of enemies. A lot of boys. A lot of, a lot of these, these double spawns are really starting to, to stack up nicely. It's a shame the sticky bombs don't stick to, like, walls and stuff when you shoot walls and just do, like, area damage. That'd be interesting. We're just going to be seeing explosions everywhere. But essentially, when we've hit enemies, we can just leave them to die because they're most likely going to die to the sticky bombs. Right, let's grab this. going to grab another guillotine straight away here. That's going to be best to get early. Yeah, that's good, doing good damage already. We still don't have quite enough sticky bombs to be sticking pretty much every hit. It's a shame. Stick. 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 No. Yeah, damn it. As you can see. Sometimes that happens, though. Where they just all get sticks. Good, good. Quick floor. Good floor. Went well. Got a good amount of items there. Having two greens on one floor is pretty, pretty average, pretty decent. Getting two guillotines, it just sets us up for the early game. Puts us in a good position to start off well. Because elites are probably the way we're going to die. If we can get the elites out of, uh, out of our face as soon as possible, that's going to be a big benefit to us. Now, there's already quite a few chests that I can see within sightline right here, which is nice. Got him. Of course, the one thing about sticky bombs is the damage you deal is, of course, delayed. It's not instant. So we are going to be noticing the effects of that sometimes. 
We do have an active item there. Active item's interesting. Nice. Nice. And of course, the sticky bombs do do that as well. They fall off enemies sometimes. Which certainly helps. Sticky bomb, sticky bomb, sticky bomb. Where you at, enemies? Where you at? Spawn more, please. Thank you. You heeded my words. You heeded my words nicely. Another active there. Probably a good idea to pick up an active this floor. Although, I'm not sure what's going to be best for us. Probably the Prismic Cube, the one that's going to drag all the enemies in. Gravitate them towards each other. But I'm not 100% sure if that's going to be the best. There could be other things that might work a little better for us. Even just getting the, the totem that gives us regen is really nice. Go down here, head over to this. More sticky bombs. Okay. Where's the uh, the bells? We saw one bell spawn at the very start. And we're not seeing many more. They give a good amount of money then, so I'm hoping to see a few more of those. They're pretty easy to deal with as well in low numbers. And there's a lot of them that become a lot harder to deal with. Is that an elite over there that I can see? Let me just see if I can go up here and shoot it. It is. What's it doing over there? I'm just sticking sticky bombs to it from a distance. I kind of like doing that. That's funny. That. That's the sticky bomb. <laughs> when we hold R to fire that thing. Oh, it's lovely. Absolutely lovely. Still, though, very, very low amounts of uh, enemies today. Last floor had a lot, lot more. Managed to build up our, build up our money a lot, lot quicker. So it's, a little it's a little bit of a shame, this floor, really. We're not going to be able to get quite as much stuff. Or oh, probably not. Well, you finally made your over, did you? Boom. Yeah, boom. Sticky bomb. We'll go up to 10 sticky bombs and we'll start switching over to something else. I don't know what. Maybe just more fire it. Maybe all we need is fire it and sticky bombs. Now, what, what our next big thing, green especially, is leeching seed. Leeching seed's going to be really good for us. Every hit we heal. That's going to be big for us. Really big. No sticky bombs from that. Wow. Sometimes you just get unlucky. Okay, there's a green there's a green chest there, look. You can get a leech and seed now, which is probably a good idea. Got you. Got you. How much are you? 150. Should be able to get that relatively soon. Got you too. Lovely, lovely. Where you at, boys? Just look at the amount of needles in our leg right now. There you are. Where's your friend? Where's your, your spawny? Good, good. Leeching seed is... Yeah. There you go. That should sustain us for a while now, I think. That should be a really good way to keep us in the running here. Getting one healing for every hit. Considering we fire so fast right now, it's a lot of healing. Nice. You. I had a few spawn over here, but apparently, apparently not. Okay, we're not getting much out of this floor. Got another space bar item there, another active. Right. I'm just going to activate this. We're not getting much money at all this floor. Don't know why, but the spawns just aren't going our way. And this time we've only got one boss, maybe? Or the other boss just spawned in a weird place. No, just one boss. Even though we've got two last floor. Strange. Got 
Right, get another leeching seed going. Two healing pair hit. It's going to keep us going quite nicely. We're going to get an active while we're here. Still not sure what active will best fit us here. Um, let's just go with this thing. This thing's always fun to just clear out an area. Always fun to clear out an area. Got you. Got you, got you, got you. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Into that portal. Loving this run so far. So far, so good. Did I, not, did I not mention as well how badass this cannon looks on our shoulder? Even if we weren't going to use it. Oh! Hello. Never had that happen before. Uh, this looks, cannon looks so badass on our shoulder here. Yeah, I've never had that happen before. That was odd. Let's get some seed money here. Let's get some early chests. Got a few more of these bits and bobs over here, look. Another one there. Is that one there, or is that just like something I'm seeing through the wall there? Okay, we've got one of these dudes over there. Might be able to take him out before he manages to shoot us. Not quite. If we're good. You are dead. Nice. God damn, the noise of them guys dying is... Scurry. Explode, fool. Only one explosion that time. Yeah, the, the the sticky ones are nowhere near as powerful as they used to be. Once you got to eight before, it got ridiculous. Now they're like, they're good, but they're not great. I wonder if it, is, is there a thing that tells you? No. There's a mod that tells you all these stats. It'd be nice to be able to see those in game. See how much it's adding by. I think if you go to your logbook, but I think you have to be in the menus to look at that. You can see. Very nice. We'll probably use our Q ability on this big green guy if we can. Oh, hello. There you go. Easy kill on him. He's an annoying bastard, so take him out as soon as possible. Take you guys out. Easy, easy. Where's our chests today? I've not really seen any chests. A little bit disappointed. I don't know where they are. We've got one of these, though. That'll do. Any chests around this back bit? No. We'll take this chest first. Get a few more sticky bombs going. Just two more and then we'll stop. Hey oh. Did not mean to press that again, but oh well. So now we're on ten. We should be in a good spot with these. We'll head over this way. There's definitely a chest down there at least. I can see a chest up there as well. Okay, we've got our eyes on a few now, which is nice. We're starting to think the want none. Got one up there as well, look. I think that's one over there as well. Is that a shadow? I cannot tell. Okay, they're dealing pretty good damage now. I think the damage they deal is equivalent to the damage you deal with the shot. Oh, but we're a little bit off this one so far. Any down here? No, there's no chest down there. Good to know we don't have to go down there. That's always an area I end up checking and there's nothing down there, so... Good to be able to see it already. Brrr. I do kind of love that. I gotta say. Pretty beautiful. It's just the noise of... <laughs> As the, all, all the explosives tried to go off at once. I always find that funny. Right. What are we going for next, then? Um, let's go for stuns. Stuns. 
Keep enemies at bay. We get quite a few stuns going. I think that adding more stuns just increases the chance to stun, so we don't need too many. We'll go for five of those. And then we'll go maybe go back to um, attack speed after that. That could be honestly a pretty good idea. And get that up to 10 as well. Oh. As he slips back into the earth, he blows up a thousand times. Yeah, I'm trying to use items I don't use as much. The stun grenade is definitely one of them. Definitely one of them. Oh, that, that attacks so fast, it's beautiful. So we'll, we'll try and go over there to that. I can never remember, is there a booster? Is there a booster down here to get up there? There isn't, is there? There should be. That would be a good place to have a booster, instead of going all the way over there. Maybe we could go for some movement speed. That might be a good idea. We're a little bit lacking on that front right now. You guys are having a day, aren't you? Having a bit of a doozy. There we go. Boost. Down here we go. Ah, that's the first ones of these I've seen. How are you doing? Having a fun time? Oh, that sends us back down this way, doesn't it? Whoopsie. For some reason I thought it sent us up. And away we go again. Later, boys. We just opened in chests. And you can't catch me. Stun grenade. Stun grenade. We are now on five stuns. That's probably enough. Is there any more chests? I don't even know where our boss is, to be honest. Where's, where's our teleporter? I imagine it's up here because I've not seen it anywhere down over there. Imagine it's up on this bit. But, at the same time, I'm not seeing the twinkle sparkles in the sky. Oh, there it is. It's over that way. Just over in that pride rock looking thing. I see ya, I see ya. Oh wait, is it underneath this maybe? Oh no, it's there, it's there. Hard to tell with the particle effects. I remember the day where these particle effects didn't even exist. Oh boy, was that tough to find the teleporter in. It didn't have this glowing effect on it either. You see how it has this like sort of sheen to it. Never used to have that. Wow, that did a lot of damage there. Yeah, that's a lot of explosions on that guy. Right, green items to go for now. Let's take care of the riffraff first. Um, go for this. And then, yeah, we should probably go for critical strikes after this. Some crit glasses would be good. Certainly, certainly, some crit glasses would be good. Oh, right. There's a, like, there's a little dip in here. I'm, I'm hidden. Don't come after me. Oh, what the hell? Interesting that that's a thing. So I can slide. Oh, now I'm stuck. Well, that was good. <laughs> now I'm stuck. Okay, there you go, there you go. You can slide through that for some reason. Get him. As if, imagine if that was how I died. I just get stuck in that gap and one of those wisps comes up to me and explodes and ice bombs me. 
run over. You have dived, so getting stuck in a hole, you moron. Okay, we've got missile depths here. We've got a magma worm by the sounds of it. Somewhere over this way. Yep, magma worm stuck in the floor over here. Oh, the sticky bombs on the on the worm are pretty funny. Seems to be quite a lot as well. There you go, killed the worm. Our uh, active item did a very fine job there. Um, if we went for... Uh, if we went for... A legendary, what would we take? I always like the kills reduce active cooldown one, but... I think we should go for something different. First of all, let's check how much it is. So now to how much to save up. 4,000. Not bad. Shouldn't be too difficult to get. We're already near 1,000, but then again, we did kill a magma worm, so that certainly helps. Whee! This guillotine's going to help out a lot on these guys. Nice. Oh, we've got a lot of enemies up spawning up here with us. It's actually probably a good spot to stay in right here. A lot of the enemies will just spawn on us. And it's a quite small area too. We could even take it one... Literally one level higher. <laughs> you get me? And just come up here. Chill up here. This could be quite nice. I like the idea. Oh my god. I can hear the crab boys down there. What you doing, little crabbies? What you- Oh my god. What you doing, little crabbies? Oh my god. They trying to get me. But I won't let them. I won't let them get me. Oh no. They're actively getting me. I'm coming for you, crabbies. We are. Die, crabs. Got them. <laughs> Turtle takes his vengeance on the crabs. Whoa. Whoa there. More crabs dead. 1,000 fight. There's still a crab somewhere. I can hear you. Where you at? You little stickler. What you doing? What you doing, little crabby? I can hear you somewhere around here. Look in the skies. There'll be orbs of, of crab puke flying at me from various directions. I have to be ready. This guy's just taking a slow, leisurely John over to me. He's made his way over now. Oh, and sorry, sir. <laughs> Annihilation. Still, we're a, we're a ways off our legendary chest, though. A ways off. Uh, we should probably go and do that combat shrine over there. That'll probably be a good idea. Let's try and make our way over to that, shall we? Let's take out these guys first, though. Good way to take those guys out. Um, can we get up there easily? I don't know. I think we can. Yes, we can. Easy enough. Just scale the heckin' wall. You know me, Mr. Vertical Climber. I am the hiker extraordinaire. You know me. Alright, set this. It's a boss. And one that should be relatively easy as well. Oh, oh, I have made a... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> One that should be relatively easy. Poor oh, judgment ensues. I should have just kept on shooting him to get the healing and hope we could have he healed through his damage. That was that was stupid. <laughs> There's another monsoon run on Risk of Rain 2. Been loving Roguelike Roulette. I hope you guys have too. Um, it has been a bit of a spicy one. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one.